What up YouTube, it's your boy GGJ Fly Guy here with a paint mask update. Uh, I know you guys have been wondering uh, what the status is. Uh, so I'm gonna go through this um, and then if you guys have any questions, there'll be a um, email address um, attached to this video where you can reach out to me. Um, first off, um, we're still on. Um, I'm still. Um, I'm still here. I'm still in business. I've just been really busy with some stuff that need to be taken care of around my house, um, and also getting prepared for uh, my wife's upcoming birthday. Uh, with that said, um, <laughs> as you guys can see, I've been busy. Um, and uh, real quick, I want to give a shout out to my main man, uh, Tin Man Tinsley. Thank you for the shout out. Thanks for the update. Thanks for helping me get this thing kicked off. Um, I see you. Thanks, brother. Uh, we got you. Let me know if there's anything else that I can help you with. Um, and also, real quick, another shout out uh, to Tat Money. Tat, uh, I haven't forgot about you, brother. I got you. Uh, I just hadn't had time to get uh, get to uh, uh, FedEx or UPS store where I can get uh, this item out to you. But I got you. Um, I plan to try to get that done sometime this week. And then I'll shoot you a, a, a PM once I do. Um, but anyway, uh, back to the paint mask thing. You guys can see. And from Tin Man's uh, video, um, we're on, we're back in. Um, I'm currently out of vinyl. Um, I ordered some and it was supposed to be in by Thursday or Friday of this week, this past week. Um, it hadn't made it, but the guy assured me that I'll have it by Monday or Tuesday at the latest. So with that said, um, I can take orders. I can get uh, stuff prepared for when the vinyl does come in. And then once it comes in, I can start getting orders out. Um, here's how we're going to do this. Um, I got to talking with some fo the folks at eBay, um, trying to figure out how to set up a store and realizing the amount of graphics that I have, I would spend quite a long time trying to set up a, a, a store. Also, one of my very, very first customers, wasn't my first, but one of my very first customers, um, made me realize that most of you guys are going to want custom stuff, um, stuff that, that no one else has or, you know, your own designs and stuff like that. So, with that said, I'm, I'm not going to actually set up a store. What I did was set up a GGJRC, a GRC, GGJRC uh, eBay account to where once you order, I can do your own individual listing and send it to you right away. You can pay for it. It's there. It's done. You know, you're good to go. You don't have to worry about it. Um, and it keeps everybody else's stuff custom. Um, uh, thanks to my boy. Um, he know who, who he is. Uh, when he placed his order, he, he made it clear that he wanted it to be his own. He didn't want anybody else to have the design, which made me realize a lot of this stuff is going to be custom work. A lot of it's going to be your own designs, the stuff that you want. You don't want anybody else to have. So setting up a store really wouldn't, I mean, it, it would be more general than custom. And I don't think it would, I would get a lot of orders from it. Um, this whole thing for me is, is about customizing my RCs to my taste and having something that no one else has. Or, or at least being the first to have it anyway. Um, and as you guys know from the spider bodies that I've done, um, I've not seen any others like that. That's why I stick to that. You know, and a lot of people know that, hey, when they see those spider bodies, they, they know it's, it's usually me. But anyway, so so with that said, um, I'm going to set it up. I'm going to open up the, the open it up for you guys. If you want to if you want to have some work done, if you want some paint masks, all you have to do is hit me up at the email address listed below. Uh, and just let me know what you have. Now, with that said, there's some rules that you need to follow. There's some things that you need to know. One, um, it's, it's, it's always best to already have the body um, before you order. Um, that way you can do the measurements. You can measure the area that you want to put the mask in, the width and the height, and try to, and, 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 and that way you know that the mask is gonna fit in that area. Um, the the software that I use is not exact. It it tries to keep your Im keep the images in proportion. So if you say, hey, I want an image that's three by three, it may be two point nine four by two point nine four, or you know, as close to what the size that you want, keeping it proportional where it doesn't look uh, distorted distorted. But it'll be as close to that size as as possible without going over and and having it too large. Um, it's 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 not going to be exact. I mean, I can make them exact. But I know from a couple of orders that I just just recently did that trying to make it those exact sizes, some of the images will look really, really funky or really distorted too long or too wide. So I use the program to, to, to try to keep things proportionate. Um, 
you can pretty much judge with your eye, but the computer is going to keep it exact spot on proportionate where it's not too big. It doesn't look too wide or too long. So with that said, it's always best to already have the body measure the area that you want the, 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 uh, the paint mask to go in. And that gives me a, a, a guideline to where I know it needs to fit in a three by three area or a four by four area, something like that. Um, you're all, you're more than welcome to guess the sizes that you want. Um, but understand once they're cut and once they're sold, that's it. If they don't fit, then you're kind of stuck with unusable paint mask unless you find a body that you can use it on. And for me, I would rather have or know uh, the measurements that I need before I order. I've always done that even before I started doing my own. When I was ordering, I would always wait till I purchased the body. Once I got the body in, I would do the measurements and then send the design to her that I wanted uh, so she would know what sizes and, and you know not waste vinyl or or me get an order that i couldn't use um so first rule of thumb is you want to have the body uh second think about your layout think about how you're going to set it how, how you're going to set it up what colors you're going to use and stuff like that and that'll help you decide exactly what you want um customizing it really is to your own taste but you, you got to remember you're dealing with limited areas you're also going to be dealing with curves and and turns and uh, you know, indentations in the body that you may not want to have to really hassle with. Um, because I can tell you from experience dealing with some of those curves and some of those indentations, you really have to be mindful of, of going back and checking to make sure the mask is, is set down where paint doesn't get up under it. Also, you want to think about the size, the size of, of the, the mask that you're going to be dealing with. Really, really small stuff. I can tell you right now, if you order something with tiny lettering, I'm going to send that to you and let you weed it on the body yourself. And, and trust me, weeding small, tiny letters is really difficult. Um, they, they stick well, they stick very well. And once you dry the paint over them, usually it's kind of hard to get them off. Um, you, I mean, it can be done. It, it's just, it's time consuming. So you need to make sure that if you do order something with very tiny lettering, that you have the time to actually sit there and, and, and deal with peeling that away once you're ready to paint the behind the, uh, the vinyl, the, the, the mask. Um, Again, uh, pretty much that's pretty much the guidelines. Make sure that you, you have your sizes. Um, you can hit me up. What I'll do is once I create it, or if it's something I need to help you with, I will. Um, um, you can ask you know, my boy, uh, Joe Robles. He and I collaborated back and forth on, on his project for quite a, 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 a few days to make sure that it was exactly how he wanted it. So I'm, I'm going to ask that if you do want custom work that you make yourself available to answer my, uh, answer my re replies to any emails that you send, that way I can go ahead and try to get the stuff out. Um, I'm still working a full-time job. Um, I still have a family to take care of, so I gotta be mindful of that. And the wife will make sure I'm mindful of that also. Um, so I'll try to get everything done as quick as possible and get them out to you, but it's all gonna depend on how quickly you answer me and how quickly you get back to me. Um, so again, um, if you wanna get a hold of me, if you want some custom work done, or if you want some paint mask and you have an idea, um, you can reach me at ggj underscore iPhone at yahoo.com and there'll be a link at the bottom of this video uh, with that uh, in, in it. Also in the, in the description, you can just read the description if, if they'll let me. I'm not sure if they'll let me do it. Um, you know how uh, YouTube can be at times. But anyway, it's ggj underscore iPhone at yahoo.com. Again, um, uh, just go through it again. One, make sure you know your sizes. Um, if it's 10 scale or 8 scale, use the 8 scale mask on going to be a little bit larger uh, because you're dealing with a larger area. Uh, two, make sure you're available um, to, to answer any questions I have. Um, I'll email you back or if it's something I need to hear, uh, need real uh, right away right, and answer to right away, um, I'll shoot you my phone number and say, hey, give me a call. Um, and that way we can get it wrapped up. Three, uh, just be mindful of what you're ordering. Um, if you have a particular image in mind, you can send me that, e email me that image. Um, one thing you want to know, if you're grabbing images from the internet, um, you want to make sure, um, that you check the pixel rating on it, the pixels on it. Um, please try not to send me any thumbnails. Um, the software that I'm using to cut vinyl doesn't do well with thumbnails. Um, I can usually enlarge thumbnails, but the problem with enlarging them and then vectorize, rasterizing and vectorizing them, you lose quality. So try to make sure it's at least 150 by 150 pixels. And if you're not sure, send the picture to me. Um, I, my pro, the program, uh, a lot of the software that I use, that I have used, and that I've used uh, when I was in the graphic design 
uh, field and, and doing stuff like that, I can usually get the the information I need to see if it's if it's a uh, what what size the picture is. Um, but you want to try to keep it, like I said, as large a picture as possible. I mean, it doesn't have to be mega, but as long as it, it's in its you know 150 to 300 to 600 uh, by 600 range. Um, even uh, 10, uh, 1028 by 764, 768, whatever the wallpaper size is, uh, you can send those. Um, you just want to make sure it's triple digits on the pixels. Um, and you can do that by right clicking on any picture and, and it'll tell you, or if you just put your cursor over a picture, like if you're doing an image search on Yahoo or Google, if you put your, your uh, cursor over that image, it'll pop up and tell you what the uh, pixel rating is on it. And if you're not sure, ask me. Send it to me and ask me. I can tell you uh, right, uh, pretty much right away or pretty quickly uh, whether it's something I can use. But image quality plays a big, big, big role in, in, in getting these done. Um, I have also found some workarounds for pictures with watermarks on them. So if you see something online that's got a watermark in it that's kind of uh, a no-no picture, I should say, uh, let me know. Um, I'll, I'll let you know if I can. I can. Some of them I, I have been able to. Um, one of these scorpions was a, a uh, a scorpion that I found and it had a watermark on it and I was able to manipulate it to get the watermark away from it um, and just get the image that was behind the watermark. So I can work with some of those. Um, it all depends on the method they use for watermarking. Um, but the program that I'm using to cut is pretty good about separating and, and cutting out stuff that I don't need. Um, other than that, we're ready to get this thing kicked off, uh, really get it kicked off. Um, like I said, my vinyl um, roll should be in tomorrow or Tuesday. Um, and once I do have it in hand, I'm going to go ahead and order another roll just so I have a roll. I keep a rolling stock of vinyl coming in and I don't get uh, behind like I did on this roll. Um, anyway, that's what we got. That's where we're at. Um, I'm not going to again, I'm not going to put up the, the store itself. I'm going to let everybody contact me with their individual uh, uh, requests. Um, it's just going to help keep things custom um, and keep your ideas to for you and, and no one else being able to grab them. Um, I've got over, I want to say over a hundred thousand graphics, um, at my disposal on my computers and between the hard drives and the stuff that I have. So if, if you have an idea or if you have something in mind and you're not sure and you can't find the image online, let me know. I may have it and have it. And what I can do is go through my files. I can uh, do a search query and pull out what I have and send to you and let you decide from there. Or like I said, if you already have something available, you can email that to me. Um, I can take a look at it. We can, I can put it in, in the program to see if it'll work, and I'll let you know right away. Um, usually, I can tell by just by looking at it if it's something that I can, I can that the program can read. I'm getting pretty good at recognizing what that program will and, and won't read, and, and um, its limits and, and limitations and, and, and what it is looking for. Um, anyway, as for the video, the demo video uh, from my man Rockbud, yes, it's coming. It's it's slow. I know you understand. Got to take care of the wife. You got to take care of things around the house. Um, get those things done. Um, I've got two, uh, some several projects like just laying in wait. Uh, my son's uh, uh, UFO came in, um, and I still have to install the lights on it. Um, I've got a whole shipment of batteries that I ordered that came in, and I've got to get the the uh, connectors uh, changed on those. Uh, and just some other stuff here, you know, for for house needs that I have to get taken care of also, but. Um, I am. I will take orders. I'll, I will take them. I'll get them out to you guys as fast as I possibly can. I know you don't like to wait um, because that's what got me into doing it. Just understand that I do still have other priorities and other obligations. Um, with that said, um, you guys, it's on. Um, one thing, um, I want to use this video also to kick off the giveaway. And this is how we're going to do it. It's going to be plain, simple giveaway. Um, from this video, that this video right here, all you need to do is to reply to the or put a comment on that uh, stating I'm in. That's all. Just say I'm in. Um, and what I'll do is I'll take the names down once I close it and I'm going to run the, the, the giveaway, uh, the opening for it. I'm going to run it from today until next Saturday, this coming Saturday. Uh, and I'll close it'll close this coming Saturday. So Sunday. Um, I'll post another video showing all of the names of the people who replied with I'm in and we'll put those in a hat. We'll draw out uh, three names and from those three names, we'll draw out five names and from those from those uh, from those five, we'll draw out three. I'm going to give away three sets of, of custom vinyls, whatever you want, how you want it. 
Um, there'll be a first place, second place, and a third place person. The first place person will get two sets. We'll get three sets. The uh, second place person will get two sets, and then the third place person will get one set. And a set can consist of four, four uh, individual uh, mask, uh, front, top, back and side, or if, if you want to say, uh, you know, all four sides of the vehicle. Um, so with this, uh, hopefully you guys understand that. So first place will get four individual masks, one for each side of the vehicle. Um, second place person will get two sets, will get eight individual masks. And then the, the first place person will get 12. Yes, get 12. Uh, individual mask and they, they can be anything that you want um, you'll just have to let me know and give me time to get them together and, and get them out to you again it's open the giveaway is open starting today starting with this video once I get it posted um, and it's Sunday um, I want to say April I think it's April the 6th um, and it'll run till this this coming Saturday uh, we'll close it this Saturday we'll tally it up uh, we'll do the we'll cut the names out so you guys everybody that entered We'll put everything in a, in a hat and we'll draw out five names. And from that five, we'll whittle it down to three, the top three. We'll starting with third, uh, third place first, and then we'll go second place and then the first place winner. Okay. If you guys have any questions, hit me up, hit me with a PM or uh, leave a comment on this video and I'll reply to them. Um, but the giveaway is open. It is open starting today. Um, um, I want to take a moment to, to uh, shout out to Joe Robles. Thanks for the the uh, thanks for the kind words, my man. Um, is this the least that I that I could do again? Um, I know what you the, the struggle that you that you've gone through. Um, can't say that I've, I've felt it. I just know the struggle that you went through with your mom and everything. Um, having that, and it's good that she pulled through it. Um, and having known someone that has lost to that, I, I, so I understand. So. Big shout out to Joe Robles. Um, again, congratulations on the 70 mile an hour club. A big shout out to my man, Tin Man. Tin Man, thanks for the shout out. Uh, thanks for having my back. Uh, Tookie, I'm, I'm with you. Let me get past this uh, giveaway and uh, I'll holler at you about the, the thing that we talked about. And Tap Money, I got you. Big bro, I got you. It's on the way. Uh, thanks for being patient with me. You guys, thanks for supporting me. It's your boy GGJ uh, Fly Guy. Rate, comment, subscribe. Oh yeah, and to my main man Sun Spit, uh, I got you, my man. Um, I'll hit you up later with a text. Um, uh, we'll talk more about that one project you're working on. Um, got a couple more ideas. Um, we'll run by you and see what you think. Um, but anyway, uh, again, guys, uh, it's open. Let me know. Uh, rate, comment, subscribe if you uh, want to get some paint masks done. Uh, hit me up. Again, you can hit me up uh, on the email address that's attached to this video. It's GGJ Fly Guy, GGJ underscore iPhone at yahoo.com. I'll hit you back up. Let me know. Uh, we'll get at it. Thanks for watching. Rate, comment, subscribe. We're signing out.